Hey YouTube, this is the singing evangelist travels here. We are off to Marion. We're going to have a great day today with our grandkids. We're going to spend some time at Chuck E. Cheese. And um, I sure have looked forward to this day for a long time. It does my heart good to see my grandchildren laughing and playing games and having fun. So um, we'll be back to see you in a little bit. Enjoy your day. It's, I guess about seven miles from where we live in Shelby. It's a nice little town. They have a nice little festival over here. I forget what it's called. It's Crestline Harvest Festival. It's in September. It's, I think, a week after, a week or two after the Belleville's World's Fair in Crestline, Ohio. I've been through here probably, without exaggeration, week I could have got it for 218 down around Belleville at the pilot store flying J Bigfoot sighting. Um, how true it was, I don't know. We get up here and we'll see. They said they put a statue to him where they seen him at, or his exact location or not. Can't remember which year it was. I can remember when I was younger there was a lot of Bigfoot sightings in Knox County and Richland County that was probably at least 40 years ago now take a moment to address something um, I was coming through Crestline and I got a clip of uh, I was talking about the Bigfoot sightings back when I was in my 20s and all through Richland and Knox County now is there a Bigfoot I don't know there's nothing in the Bible about a Bigfoot the, giant spoken of in the Bible was named Goliath. He was I believe nine foot nine foot six inches tall if I'm correct. Um, of course the Bigfoots that we 
supposedly have clips of. None of them are nine foot and six inches tall. So Goliath would have made them look small. But we'll just leave it up to your imagination. If you think there's a Bigfoot, I guess that's up to you. I really think they would have been spoken of in the Bible. There is mentions of beasts, giant beasts. So I don't know. Just leave that up to your imagination. Coming into Marion, Ohio, where uh, three of our grandchildren live, I picked them up. We've got one little monster in the back seat already. Uh, she's not a monster. She's a good girl. But she's excited. We're all excited about the big day. This is where I a lot of my years growing up. There's Marion Harding High School, which is now looks like a prison to me. Uh, they sure have built a lot of nice schools, put a lot of money into new schools here lately. That's what it looks like. So, I guess we'll see you in a little Okay, I'm back. I've got the grandkids picked up now. The one's in Marion, and, uh, shoot, we've got a van full. We've got Alexa. Say hi, Alexa. Hi. We've got Ava. Say hi, Ava. Hi. I've got Leland. Leland, you want to say hi? Hi. He's all the way in the back seat. And, uh, poor Lena, she just, she couldn't make it. She's been out since about five minutes into our trip but on our way to Chuck E. Cheese and man we are going to have a blast by the way there's going to be a talking cat on this video so can I have a bite can I have a bite Callie let me have a bite can I have a bite get out of my food right now I'll bite you or scratch you. You get my food. I like that sweater, Connie. This is Callie. This is Callie Cat. Make sure you say my name right. Okay, sorry. Callie Co Cat. Here we are. We're at Chuck E. Cheese. Leland's all excited. It's his first time. Ava's got to come back tomorrow for a birthday party. And there's little Alina. There's little Alina. We're going to have pizza and play games. thankful that the Lord made a way and give us the money that we can take the kids out and have fun. There's Grandma. Alexa grew up so fast. She'll be 13. A teenager.
free tickets. Everybody's excited. Where did Alexa and Ava go? Look at Alina. Alina. Hi. Wave. Wave to the camera. Say hi. Hi. Supposed to do. 